Hey guys, it's me, Mr. Cheese Gaming here, and welcome back to more of Let's Play Majora's Mask. Last time, we got to the Romani Ranch, and we managed to defend it against... Thumb. And as a result, we ended up getting the... Uh, Romani ma Mask. Now, we'll just go ahead and... Slow down time right from the get-go. Now, Tattle will say that we should go to the lagoon. However, I got other things in mind. First up, we'll go over to. Excuse me, we'll go over to this town side of the town. Wow. <laughs> After playing this game so far, I'm trying to avoid that cutscene, I activated it because I finally forgot all about it. Yes, we know it's private property. We don't have the moon steer, therefore we can't actually buy that piece of property. Now, before... Now, I'm not gonna go into the lagoon just yet. Well, not the lagoon, the bay. Instead, I'm gonna go ahead and withdraw some rupees. Um, let's withdraw 150. I... What I want to do is buy some red potion. That is for what we're about to do next. Um, I think that's the curiosity shop, is it not? That's the trading post. Well, actually, let's see if I can actually buy red potion here. Yes, I can! Okay, so it was... The Curiosity Shop, well, the Trading Post, not the Curiosity Shop. Maybe I can start carrying that in store. I kid you not. Oh, I have to talk to him as a healer. And he, not with a bunny hood. Okay, so it only costs 30 rupees, okay. We'll restore all our health, however, it's not our health that I want to restore. Is it, um, Kumi again? Nope. So anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave Clock Town. Now, I can go over here with, to reach the, um, Great Bay. However, like I said before, I don't want to do that just yet, because there's some more things that we can do in the meantime. Okay, it's still in the sixth hour. That's... That's nice, got to not free thing I want and clock down out of the way within half an hour. Well, half an in-game hour. Okay, and here's, um, bomb juice. And I kinda hope for it to drop some arrows. Actually, I should actually go over to the north side because I actually know there's grass there and I'll be able to collect arrows that way. Arrows, definitely. You really want to stock up on arrows. That's 20. There's the way. Really, I took damage from you, really? Really, I took damage, really? Nice sentence construction. Okay, I think I'm confident with 30, so... Just gonna go over here and run with a bunny hood. Now, despite we us going back in time and not actually earning Epona, we'll still be able to get Epona regardless. So... We'll sing Epona's song. By the way, how how come Link has to relearn the Song of Time, Epona's song, etc., when they were required to obtain an Ocarina of Time? Yes, you needed um, Epona because you needed to you needed her to get to Juro to rally. Anyways, we'll just ride along and yes, I know this is in the exact opposite direction than where we need to go. 
Uh, what's interesting is that, as you can see, we're invincible so long as we're riding Epona and... Wow. Um... Come on, Epona. The horse is always difficult to turn around. Anyways, we'll have to run fast in order to jump over this gate. And run fast again. Now there's this guy up there. He'll come into importance later. Right now, I just want to go ahead and take care of these bomb chews. Okay, come to a stop. Get down. And I actually want to put on both the potion and the lens of truth. Because if we check this stone right here, it'll say that there's somebody nearby that is invisible. Well, we'll go ahead and look around and... Sure enough, there is somebody over here and bumped you. Yeah. As you can see, this guy is invisible. Let's talk to him. I guess he was, um... Cursed by Skull Kid, just like the... Um, just like the Goron back at Snowhead. Huh? Don't tell me that's... I'm shocked. You're the first person to who's ever spoken to me. I've been here for many years, waving my arms around and asking for help, but everyone ignores me and passes me by. It's because I'm about impressive as a stone, right? I'm used to it, though. What are you, Koishi? Um, I have a request. Can you give me some medicine that would make... Even an unnoticeable stone like me feel better? Well, yes we do. We have red potion. Ah, is that, is that it? Is that all you can get? Well, I guess it's good enough. I feel better, I think. Thanks, oh here, ingratitude. We got the mask of emotions, or I mean, the stone mask. Now we can be about as impressive as Koishi before she got in the mask of emotion. Now let me practice standing out. The stone soldier was added to your notebook. And as you can see, he's visible now. It's because we noticed him, right? Well, we can't do anything with him anymore. So, I'll go ahead and put on my old equipment, that is my arrows. Excuse me, I want my arrows down there. Um, of course my bunny hood. And, um, the ocarina, of course. Put on my bunny hood so I can get to Epona faster. Ow! Actually, I don't need to get to Epona, I just need to climb up this ledge. And there's a bad bet there. Now, here we are at Ikona Graveyard. At night, you'll actually have a bunch of stealth childs um, going around here instead of those keys. But, thankfully, it's daytime, so they're not out. And here's one of my favorite characters in the games. M many people don't actually like him, but I do. He is one of my favorite characters. I am Dampe, the gravekeeper, who watches over this graveyard. My face is frightening, but I am not a bad person. Other graves here belong to the family members of the King of Ikona Castle, a place that lies beyond the mountains. Even nowadays, the ghosts come out at night. It is a frightening graveyard. What's interesting about Dampe is that, um, in Japan, they say that you want ugly people to wash over your graves because that will scare away, um, all the ghosts that might try to attack your grave. Yeah, kind of mean, but it's true. I'm gonna lock onto that so I can... Read. He who awakened me, battle me, and I shall extinguish the furious flames. Well, as you can see, he's actually blocking out the path, and 
But if you manage to get by him, you'll notice that there are flames around there. It seems to be guarding something. Well, let's get up close to him and play the Sonata of Awakening. Up left, up left, a right, a. I always like singing it like that. I'll try to walk away, and here's the good idea. Have the bunny hood, have the gilded sword, lock onto him, and start shooting arrows at him. Keep shooting arrows at him, and eventually you can swipe at him. At this point, you want to go into a battle with him. He'll eventually try to land on you. But we can keep on slicing him. He is actually a pretty easy mini-boss. Wait, it is my last. Sheaves your weapon. Now, people always say this scene is kind of funny, but I think it's actually kind of cute and sad in the same way. I'll go ahead and read it to you. Well, I'll read it anyways. I'm the commentator and slash narrator. I commanded the Ikana army of Ikana kingdom atop the hill. I am called Skullkita. Since being shamed by laws in a battle within my kingdom, I have waited here for one to come and awaken my soul. Young swordsman who has awakened and defeatedly defeated me. I shall rely on your power to fulfill my request. I ask that you take my soul, which rests in the fiercely burning flames. And convey my words to my men, who, even in death, remain loyal to me. Tell them the, that the war has ended. Then I shall be able to drift quietly into sleep. Captain, sir. May I take leave, sir? say that the part where he falls apart is funny and well I do admit it is kind of funny just with that dialogue and him going over the history of this land that it used to be ruled by uh, the people of Econom until it fell in battle I think that's kind of sad anyways you we're supposed to climb up there anyways each gate you see there is flames. If Skull Key Doug gets to the very top, it's considered a um, battle over and you'll have to leave the area and come back. Anyways. If you have the shook um eh. If you have the hook shot, this is made easy, but I do not, so I'm just gonna have to jump over here. Open the chest? And it's funny that I defeated him, yet I have to kill him. It's funny that I have to defeat him, yet to get his remains, yet I also have to open a chest. Why not just take his remains? It's technically the same thing. Anyways, a captain's hat. The ghosts of hundred soldiers wear allegiance to this symbol of authority. Well, that was kind of sad, and I must tell you, there is more detail to this in the future. Like, I'm talking about fourth temple stuff. Wow, these circle of grass don't actually move. Then again, I know the locations of the ones that do move, and there's only three of them. Those, you may not believe it, but those grass that I'm talking about that um, move around, you can see um, a group of them in Clocktown. That will also come into importance later. 
But for now, we got Skull. We defeated Skullkita and got the Captain's Mask. Well, not Captain's Mask, but Captain's Hat. To pose as Captain Kita. Anyways, I think that's it for this video. So, next time on Let's Play Majora's Mask. We're going to use this captain's hat and uh, to, well, speak with the soldiers at night. The army of the dead. Quite literally. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. And, of course, if you like this video, leave behind a like. Also leave behind a comment and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me.